Hello, my name is Dave Gloria, and this is my wife, Jamie, my client, for our CAPS 3 assignment, which is our resistant uh, training program based on the uh, FMS test that we did a couple of weeks ago. We're doing uh, three exercises of the lower body, and the exercises we're doing are the stiff-legged deadlift, the uh, forward lunge with dumbbells, and a squat with dumbbells. And basically what we're going to be doing is looking for any uh, deficiencies in her movements, in the patterns that she's doing, uh, but also um, acknowledging uh, what is going on right and what we're trying to accomplish. So as we go through these set of exercises, um, I'll be explaining what we're looking for, what muscles we're exercising, and again, point out anything that we need to point out uh, in order to, for Jamie to get optimal results. All right. For our first exercise, we are going to be doing a squat with dumbbells. And basically what we want to do is we want to look for correct posture and technique. We're going to be working out our quads and our hamstrings and a little bit of glute uh, will be incorporated as well. So first we want to stand with shoulder width um, with our feet. We want to point them out. Um, the recommendation was no more than 30 degrees. And basically from here, what we want to do is perform the exercise with the dumbbells at our side, straight up and down like this movement, keeping our back flat, keeping our knees um, in line with our toes, and the neck head looking straight ahead, just like this. So we're gonna have Jamie perform this first without any weights. Jamie, go ahead whenever you're ready. Very good, she's gonna do five of these. And we'll start with the feet. Feet are shoulder width, firmly planted. Toes out at about a 30 degree angle. As she comes down, her knees are in perfect alignment with her toes. Her hips are coming down parallel to the ground or just below the knees. Her back is staying flat. We're also working out her core as she does these all the exercises because we needed to implement some uh, core strength based on the last FMS test. And go ahead and do one more. Shoulders are in line and her neck is in line. Beautiful. How'd that feel? Good. Okay, awesome. So what we're going to do next, we're just going to change the view. So what we've done is we've added weight. Part of the um, program, resistance program that we set up for Jamie was a strength to gain muscle strength. Again, based on the FMS test, that's what we feel um, we needed to work on most. And so, Jamie, go ahead and perform the squat now with the weights. Okay, very good. She's going to do five reps here. And we're looking for the same thing. Posture, stance, technique. Okay, the knees are coming just over the toe, which is okay for the look. There we go. She's still coming down uh, with her hips parallel to the ground, just past uh, her knee, her core is being stabilized, her back is staying relatively flat through the movement, head is looking straight ahead, not looking up or looking down. How'd that feel, Jamie? Okay. All right. So that is the squat with dumbbells. Okay, for our next exercise, we are going to do a forward lunge with dumbbells. And basically, we are going to be working quads, hamstring, and again, glutes, because we're doing all lower body. Um, this time around. And so for the forward lunge, again, we're looking for posture, technique, and uh, making sure that everything is in alignment. Jamie is going to come forward and then lunge, okay? She's gonna keep, touch this knee to the ground, and she's gonna be at a 90 degree angle here. Again, we wanna emphasize not coming over the toe too much, but being more in alignment with the toe. Hips are gonna be in this position here, Okay, we're not going to be um, tilting forward or back. We want to keep them nice in alignment. And then what I'm going to have Jamie do as she comes up is to step forward. I'm going to have her step back and then do the other side. The reason I have her do that is because a lot of times when we try to come back this way, we, come, we become imbalanced, and that's sometimes how we can tweak our knee or injure ourselves. So just for that purpose, that's how we're going to do it.
go ahead and perform. Forward lunge. Very good. So as you can see, everything is lining up really good. We'll start with the feet once again. She comes down. The knee is in alignment there with the toe. Okay, the back is flat. It is straight. Okay, her shoulders are not uh, rocking back and forth or swaying. And her neck is in good posture, good technique there. And do one more. 90 degree angle. How did that feel? Okay. Okay, we're gonna add a weight. Okay, so now we've added some resistance, we've added some weight, and so we're looking for the same posture, the same technique, and just wanna make sure that this weight is sufficient uh, for her to do. So Jamie, whenever you're ready, go ahead and do five reps. Very good. The knees look good as far as alignment with the toes. Back is straight. Okay, neck alignment is good. Okay, a little wobbly down there, Jamie, so let's maybe do a wider lunge. There we go. That was much better. Okay, everything looks good there. How do you feel? Okay. Okay, awesome. So that is the lunge with our dumbbell. Okay, for our third and final exercise, we will be doing a stiff leg deadlift. And basically, that exercise is going to incorporate a lot of hamstring, um, some glute, and a little bit of quad as well. And so basically, this is kind of the trickiest one, um, in my experience, that clients have dealt with. Uh, because we just want to make sure we get our posture um, right, and we want to make sure that we're doing things that aren't going to hurt us. So... We're gonna start with the dumbbells at our toes. Okay, and we're gonna have a slight bend in the knee. Okay, the knee is gonna stay slightly bent. Arms are gonna be extended. Again, I'm not going to be um, extending or hyperextending the neck. I'm not gonna be in flexion. Okay, I'm just gonna be straight ahead looking down right now at this point. And the, the movement is up here. Once we get up here, we're not going to crank back and do any extension of the spine. We're just going to come to this position here as recommended. Okay? So from this point, we're going to keep a slight bend in the knee. Okay? We're keeping the weights close to the body, not out here, but close to the body. And we are going to hang or drop or come down. We're going to feel a good stretch there. And then we're going to bring it back up. Okay? Head on alignment, shoulders aligned, okay? And also we're working out that core, keeping that tight. Just like this. So Jamie. Okay, so you're gonna simulate, yep, that you have dumbbells there. Now we wanna keep the back flat, okay? Okay, don't arch it too much, okay? We wanna keep a slight bend in the knee, okay? We want the hips to stay stationary. In other words, we don't want the hips to rotate or tilt too far anteriorly or posteriorly, okay? And uh, we want to make sure we're a good shoulder width, head aligns, not um, hyperflexing or hyperextending. And go ahead, Jamie, go ahead and do five reps. Very good. Keep a slight bend in the knee. Pretend you're holding that weight close to your toes there. There you go. Keeping that back flat. Straight ahead. Good. How did that feel? That's good. Okay, just do a couple more here. Okay, everything looks good. Hips look good. Hips are aligned. Do you feel a stretch in the hamstring there? Yes. On your way down. Okay, good. Awesome. Okay, so now we're going to add weight. You ready? So now we've added resistance. We've added some weight here. Okay, good. She's keeping a slight bend in the knee. The feet are about shoulder width length. We're keeping that back flat as much as possible. Okay, the hips aren't sinking too much. Okay, they're not rising too much. Okay, the shoulders are coming and everything's coming in perfect alignment. The hips aren't going first. Okay, keep that back flat. There you go. Okay, the neck looks good. It's in straight alignment there. Keeping a slight bend in the knee. Good. And back up. How do you feel? Okay, so that is uh, stiff leg deadlift, and that will conclude our 
assignment for this week. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Jamie. And we will see y'all next week. God bless.